Welcome to Systematic Program Design. I'm Erica Thompson, a TA for the course, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the website so you know where to find all of the information and tools you'll need to successfully complete the course. When you click on Systematic Program Design Part 1 from your edX dashboard, you'll be brought to this page, Course Info. Here you will find the current course date and time, as well as any news or updates we may have for you as the course progresses. When you're ready to get started, click here on the Courseware tab. Here you will find all of the modules that are currently available. When the course starts, that will include Introduction as well as Beginning Student Language. In the Introduction module, you'll find several subsections which will help you get started with the course. Here in the Welcome tab, you'll find a video giving you a basic overview of the course, as well as a discussion where you can introduce yourself, meet your peers, and let us know why you're excited for the course. Next, you'll find the Course Organization tab, which includes this video, the Syllabus tab, which contains basic information about each of the four modules in the course, as well as about how much time it will take to complete them. Then we have the Schedule page, which contains information about due dates and release dates, an overview of the grading policy, some study tips, information about the course team, and a module wrap-up, which contains a survey you can take to let us know a little bit more about you, your background, and why you're here. When you're ready to get started with the course content, click on the Beginning Student Language module. At the beginning of each module, you'll find the module overview, which contains basic learning goals and information about each module. Under that, there will be a number of lectures, including videos, practice questions, and other components. Here in the Expressions subsection, you'll find a video that's split into two parts, as well as some questions for you to complete as you work through the material. This little alarm clock sign lets you know that there is graded material within the subsection, so make sure you complete those questions before the due date. At the end of some subsections, you will also find a discussion tab. The discussions are a great way for you to talk about the material with your peers and make sure you're understanding everything as we move through the course. At the end of each module, you'll find some practice problems. The practice problems are another great way for you to make sure you're keeping up and fully understanding the material. If you feel you need additional practice, you can follow this link to the Problem Bank page, which contains all of the problems for all of the modules, along with some information about their difficulty, as well as approximately how long it will take you to complete each one. Along with the Problem Bank tab, there are several other reference pages at the top here that you will find useful as you move through the course. The Design Recipes page contains a table with all of the design recipes for all three parts of the course. In Part 1, we'll mostly be focusing on these first two columns. The Language tab provides a concise reference for the programming language that we will use. The Glossary page contains all of the terms that are introduced in the course, as well as some information about which lecture you can see to get more information on them. The Style Rules page gives you a basic overview of the style rules and naming conventions that we'll use throughout the course. Here on the Discussion tab, you'll find all of the discussions from each module, as well as more general discussions relating to the course as a whole. Finally, you can use the Progress page to track your progress through the course and see which modules you've completed and which you still need to work through. We really hope you enjoy the course. If you have any more questions, please feel free to bring them up in the discussion forums, where your peers and the course staff will be happy to help you.